We finally made it to John Wayne Airport, Santa Ana Airport, Orange County Airport, all of the different names that it goes by. We are ready to go where? Disneyland. We're just waiting for our Uber now, and then we'll get over to our hotel, give you a tour of that, and then head to downtown Disney. Here is our room at the Residence Inn at the Marriott. We should be about 15 minutes from the Disneyland Harbor Side entrance. We do not remember booking this room at all. <laughs> we booked it a while ago, but I don't remember booking a kitchen. Do you? No. So we basically walked in and we're completely shocked. It definitely wasn't an upgrade, I don't think. I guess you never know. Here's a little living area, TV out here. Best part, first thing that Catherine ran to was to see this view. That is Cars Land. <laughs> so scenic. So scenic. We were hoping maybe we could see Incredicoaster, but that will have I to do. Driving up. Here is the bedroom. You've got the king size bed. It has the same view over there and the bathroom. We haven't even walked in here yet. It looks nice. It seems really nice. I've never stayed at a residence inn before. We haven't either, but uh, it was really reasonable. It was like 200 something dollars a night. So really can't complain. They have lots of drawers over there underneath the TV. So there's four drawers. Here, and then it looks like on the side tables, you have the two plugs and then those little things. Yep. What are those called? USBs? That's, yeah, <laughs> you got two of those. So I'm very pleased with this. Honestly, we were very, like, wanted to book the Disneyland Hotel. This is our anniversary trip. We wanted to be at Disneyland Hotel, like, or bust and we had saved up some money for it to do it and then the prices came out and we just couldn't pull the trigger on it. It was like six, seven hundred dollars starting to get in that range. And so we compromised and came over here and I'm pretty happy with it so far. So we'll report back, we'll let you know if something goes wrong, but for now, things seem to be looking up. So we're gonna clean up and then head over to Downtown Disney. We have dinner at seven, so in about four hours. So we'll probably explore World of Disney just be in the Esplanade, hear the music, make our way to Disneyland. Here we go. We think it'll take around 13 to 15 minutes or so. What do you think? Oh, I gotta set my timer. <laughs> ah. Timer? Uh, no, stopwatch. Okay, it's running. All right, let's see how long it takes. We do have to take a quick pit stop at CVS, but then we'll be on our way. So just so you get your bearings, there's the front lobby where we just came from. We basically just walked down this little alleyway past the Spring Hill Suites and then up there on the cross is Harbor Boulevard. Harbor Boulevard is the entrance or the road that has the entrance into Disneyland. So it should be pretty easy. All right, we made our pit stop at CVS. Now we're gonna head up. Here's Harbor Boulevard. We'll take a left up here. Um, take a quick few seconds, guess what we bought from CVS, what was a necessity, what would be a necessity for us to go to a Disney park that we couldn't pack in a carry-on carry bag, which is a new thing for us to do carry-ons. Did you guess sunscreen? <laughs> because yeah. if you did, you are correct. And we are pretty much here. What's the timer at? I wasn't gonna stop it yet. I want to get closer to the entrance because I know we're gonna have to go through security still. Okay, it's right there in those tents. So we're almost there. We're in. Okay, moment of truth. It took us 14 minutes and 24 seconds. I don't know if you can see that, but that's what it says. I'd say that was pretty good. We did get lucky when we were crossing kind of the biggest intersection we just kind of tacked on to some people who had already waited. So I don't know how long that takes. And then of course it's the evening. So you want to get fully in the shade? Yeah, that'd be great. So, <laughs> so security 
was really fast because not a lot of people are coming into this area. So I thought that Downtown Disney on this side had the touchless um, security like we have in Walt Disney World everywhere. And I think they have it on the other side if you come from like the Disneyland Hotel side. But here it was like old school, like they looked through your bag and everything. And you had to put your stuff outside of the x-ray scanner machine. Yeah, but do you see what's over on our right? It's a glorious sight. That is a Disneyland train station. And there are people on it. There are people on it. We will spend probably a good like two or three laps on it. So the plan for our next couple days, tomorrow we are in Disney's California Adventure, all about Avengers Campus. Next day we're in Disneyland for the full day. And then the third day is a hop back and forth It's the little things, huh? <laughs> and every trip has to include a visit to World of Disney. We were interested to see what their Numo section looks like because Kermit and Miss Piggy have been sold out in Walt Disney World for a very long time. And it looks like they are sold out here as well. Everything else seems to be the same, don't you think? Yeah, except for, of course, the Square Disney. Oh, yeah. Disneyland. You still like your Kermit and Miss Piggy? Uh, yeah, they are obviously collector's items. So I feel like we hit the jackpot. You hit the jackpot. I bought them for you. I did. Yeah. On release day. Who knew that they were going to be so dynamic and hard to get? How nice to see Orange Bird getting some love in Disneyland. I know. Can they do that? <laughs> they even have I the Disneyland like logo. That should be a strictly Florida icon. We can share. He is pretty cool. So this is so much different than our last experience at World of Disney here in Downtown Disney because we unexpectedly, last time we were here, didn't even know it, happened to be here on the day that the Christmas merch dropped and yes. it was insanity. It was wild and then we felt wild. We ended up buying probably way more Christmas things than we ever would have We definitely otherwise. gave into peer pressure. We just like started grabbing stuff just because everybody was. Yes. So it is interesting right now. I feel like most of the things that we're seeing right now are things that we have at Walt Disney World. They just obviously say Disneyland. Yeah. Maybe a bit more tie-dye. I see a lot of tie-dye here. I was going to say like 90% of it's the same stuff yeah. so far. I've never seen this one. Look how cute. Now, do you see Wanda on there? Because that would be a game changer. Don't see a Wanda. I don't see Wanda. But almost oh. everyone else is there. Oh, that's really cool. Now these we have not seen in Walt Disney World. Hopefully I get to focus and block out the clear. They have Westview and WandaVision magnets, Falcon and Winter Soldier. A sword. A sword. This Wakanda for everyone, but even phone cases. We definitely don't have that in Orlando. No, so this is, we've hit the jackpot, I feel like. It's the Marvel stuff. Go figure. Are you still in love with this Judy? I am because look at the freaking feet. Look at those. I mean, that's so cute. I'm a sucker. We call our corgis feet rabbit feet because they're like long like this. So I'm a sucker for a real rabbit foot. Maybe you'll have to take Judy home. <laughs> I'm going to take that backpack home. How many plush dolls are you going to try to go home with? <laughs> So we have just recently gotten into pin trading and here's their limited editions or ones that they're featuring right now. This small world one is something else. Can you put that on a lanyard, do you think? Okay, you know what I thought it was the first time I saw it and you asked me what it was? I thought it was a chocolate bar, like something <laughs> you would get at Easter. But even this Raya one is huge. And Catherine keeps eyeing cartoon Lizzie McGuire and they strategically placed it right next to one that I want. So maybe it's a sign? It must be. We did have Salt and Straw last time we were in Disneyland in 2018, but is it deciding that it is coming to Disney Springs in the near future? How do you feel about it? Can it live up to Ample Hills? 
Probably not, but I do love ice cream. The only thing that I will say is these flavors are a little weird. Exotic. They're a little uh, outside of the box, I guess. And I'm not very creative when it comes to ice cream. I want chocolate. Chocolate everything. Cookie dough, Oreo, all of the above. So I'm excited because it is good quality. Like it's thick and it's creamy and it's good. But Ample Hills, not quite. So Catherine wants to do our guest bedroom in like a citrus or orange grove theme. And so she's been eyeing this picture. We have it in Walt Disney World at Disney Springs as well. This is a must purchase. I know. Okay, I'm gonna look. How much is this bad boy? 40, 40 bucks. bucks. Maybe we'll wait for it to come to Disney World so we can have an annual pass discount. Oh my gosh. They're even showing the artist. That's her. Oh, that's cool. It was her. So this is like Disney Saturday afternoon cartoons and it's the greatest thing I've ever seen. I mean, they have everybody. Darkwing Duck, Gargoyles, everything. Tailspin. Tailspin. Rescue Rangers. DuckTales. This is amazing. Look, Max Goose. Look at PJ. <laughs> this is amazing. I do like that there's just one little gargoyle and even some gummy bears. Gummy bears don't get much love anymore. Uh, yeah, none at all. 40 bucks again. Not bad. It's not, I mean, <laughs> we just don't have room. We just don't have room. This would be hard to get home without bending it. I really liked this when I first saw it, but then I looked closer. So you have Tiana and Lottie, and then if you look back, you have them in their child versions playing. Still got the Tiana's Place menu or promo. That is amazing. And then a little Naveen down in the corner. If anybody's looking for something to get me for Christmas, this is it. Did you find something else you need? Yeah, we're gonna have to leave soon. Look how fun this is. You have like a tribute to so many old attractions all in one poster. The I Skyway. Love. That's what I was gonna say, the Skyway and the Matterhorn. You got Peter Pan, Dumbo, Pinocchio, the Fab Five, plus Daisy. That's pretty great. That is so cool. So they were able to see this about 30 minutes early, which is good because we're on East Coast time still. So it's like nine something at night right now for us. So we're starving. So the menu looks fantastic. We'll share what we got as they bring it to us. I got the Louisiana lemonade. It's basically exactly what it sounds like. It's lemonade, I think some Sprite, rum, probably some kind of flavor, but I was not expecting it to be pink. So that was a thrill. Catherine always makes fun of me because I love a good hurricane and any kind of guns like a Cajun or New Orleans themed restaurant. You have to go with the hurricane. It's Look at that like bad boy. So let's give it a try. I've never had a bad hurricane in my entire life. <laughs> Is it exceptional? That's a category five hurricane right there. Um. And this is what we're here for. The gumbo. You can see it steaming. He poured it into here out of like a little cup and it was amazing. It was great. It was, they do that in some places with um, like crab soup. I've seen it do like done where it's like a crab in the bowl already, but everything was in the little container. And I feel like it's very aromatic All right. smell it. and then we paid like a dollar fifty for some bread she said it goes great with it to like dip it in there and scoop it up so it looks like some french bread nice you know what? our friend john would like this baguette here <laughs> yeah. we go disneyland baguette taste test on the go mm. <laughs> I don't care if it's 90 degrees outside, it is always a good time for gumbo. That is so good. All right, Catherine's taste test. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's like the perfect amount of spice to give it a good flavor. The chicken, the rice, like you said, it's everything that you expect from gumbo. It's very good. I didn't try any of the sausage. Is that sausage? Yep. 
let's get a piece of sausage. Is it better than with the chicken? It might be better. So I'm excited. I got the shrimp and grits, and it comes with some of that into the sausage. It's going to be good. Food is here. What did you get? I got the barbecue shrimp and grits that, like I said earlier, comes with some andouille sausage. So I think it's just going to be like flavor town. <laughs> Are you allowed to say that? I think that's trademarked. <laughs> it probably is. Taste test time. And if you guys didn't know, Catherine is a grits connoisseur. I love grits. And for being honest, the best grits, I'll have to change it maybe after this, but the best grits I've had on a Disney property are from the, uh, oh gosh. City Works. City Works in Disney Springs. So let's see how these check out. This is awesome. So far, I get this and buy that higher. I got the blackened salmon, it comes with rice and spinach, and the only reason I got this, not the only reason, I love salmon, but I saw someone say that it's just the best salmon they've ever had in their entire life. I love blackened, I love Cajun style, it's got a nice glaze on it, so. Oh my gosh, yes. Here we go. That's where it is. I originally thought that this was going to have sausage in it because of the way that it was worded on the menu. I think the sausage, or why they put it on there, is just because of the sauce. It's not like a barbecue sauce, so there is no sausage, is all I'm trying to say. It's still good, though. And the main event. What we've all been waiting for. What we've been waiting for. Double chocolate bread pudding. Need you say more? <laughs> you don't take 25 minutes to prepare something that's not good. No, this has to be outstanding. So we automatically changed everything we thought we were going to do for this. So what sets the bar for us in terms of bread pudding? Like what does this after surpass? Is it Ohana? I think it has to be Ohana. Okay, so let's give it a try. I'm tasting it behind the camera. And we'll see. I don't think it's the two drinks I've had. I think this is better than Ohana's. It's very rich because it is very chocolatey. This one. vanilla ice cream on top, so I think that's gonna be very nice. And this is just like really, really... You don't quite get that with the Ohana bread. Yeah, they're almost like they're not similar enough to really compare them. If we're being honest. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> but one's caramel and one's chocolate. It's like pineapple. Yeah, but you drizzle the caramel on it. So this was a winner. Such a masterpiece. One of us played that way better than the other one, and that is me, because I wore stretchy pants to that <laughs> meal. I still am in my travel pants, which sounds dumb. But anyway. <laughs> That's what we call it, if we're being honest. We were honestly in between here and Tortilla Joe's. We went back and forth so many times on what we want to do on this Disney, downtown Disney dinner night on our arrival day. I think we made the right decision. I mean, even just from the moment that we walked in, just the whole ambiance of the place, they have like an indoor, outdoor kind of seating area. They have the two level restaurant. It is just so cute. So I feel like that really helped us immerse in the whole Louisiana, everything that Walt loved. I know, that's what I was gonna say, is like, just knowing that Walt loved New Orleans, it just, like, it, it plays into everything that we like. And I think it made our meal better, if we're being honest. It sounds corny, but I think it's true. It is true. And then the food itself was amazing. Our waitress was so nice and helpful. Uh, like we mentioned, she suggested the bread to go with the gumbo, the dessert. Like she, she was just very good at kind of guiding us through everything because there were obviously things that we could have missed out on. Yep. 
So I think the plan for the rest of the night is we're eventually going to make our way back to the hotel. We are jet lagged like crazy, so if tired. we're being honest. It's really late and Eastern time zone for us right now. But I just want to maybe sit in the Esplanade for a while, maybe stick around to see the fireworks, but it's going to be tough to stick it out that long. Yeah, we'll see what happens. It's definitely getting a little busier now in this downtown Disney area. It's still so weird to call it that. Oh my gosh. Feels like you're saying something wrong. Yes, I have to second guess myself. But it is getting a little busier, so I'm interested to see what it does look like down towards the Esplanade again. So we will head that way and then eventually make our way back, get to bed for Web Slingers, hopefully tomorrow morning. Quick little pit stop before we head to the Esplanade. I need everyone to look at this. Apparently and I'm let, uncultured. Let me know if you've ever seen this before. So we walked into the confectionery. We are so full, I can barely walk. But I just wanted to go in there because our Main Street Bakery has been closed. So I just wanted to see all the treats and smell it. And it was awesome. But we walk in and the guy asked if we wanted to take a number just in case. So I was like, okay. So I take my little ticket. And Brendan did not know what that was for. Um, I... I grew up in Nashville. We don't. It's a deli counter number. <laughs> yeah, we never needed that uh, for anything. No. It was like you elbow your no. way to the front. See, that's why these are gold because you don't have to play the I was to your first game. You have it written down. This is genius to the people in Disneyland. Thank you. You might be able to faintly hear it in the background. They're playing fantastic music, they are literally mocking us to our face at this point. No shame at all in their game. So I think that's going to do it for this evening in downtown Disney when they ate a wonderful meal at Ralph Brennan's Jazz Kitchen. We sat here and watched the train station for longer than we're willing to admit. <laughs> We've been listening to the music. I cannot even explain my excitement for the next three days of going into the parks especially Disneyland. I'm so excited for Avengers Campus, but there's just something spe so special about Disneyland. So I hope you'll tune in for those vlogs. Travel day, obviously anyone knows, it just kind of kicks your butt. It's always overwhelming being in places that you don't know the and Denver aren't familiar Airport. with. <laughs> the Denver Airport is very confusing. It was a madhouse, and I, I don't think I'll ever get over how big it was. We were in one terminal, and they had 99 gates, people. 99. Um, so yeah, I think I'm ready for a good night's sleep. I'm very full, so I don't think I'll have any problem going to sleep. And tomorrow's going to be epic. We woke up in Orlando this morning and are going to bed after seeing the Disneyland train station. Is there anything better than that? No. Except maybe tomorrow going to Avengers Campus. <laughs> so we we'll hope you'll follow along for that. We thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. We will chat with you real soon.